In this series of short videos, we will be introducing you to the Military Aviation Preservation Society, or MAPS, Air Museum, and some of the aircraft and displays that are located at our facility in Green, Ohio. We hope that these presentations enhance your appreciation of history and those that lived it. Man's fascination with flight and a desire to fly has always been with us. A quote attributed to Leonardo da Vinci gives you only one view of this obsession. It reads, once you have tasted flight, you will forever walk the earth with your eyes turned skyward, for there you have been, and there you will always long to return. At MAPS, the history of aviation is more than just airplanes. It is about those who have dreamed of flying, those who ultimately made those dreams a reality, and those that have experienced the freedom of flight. We hope to share that and more with you in these video presentations. We hope to cover the general background of each type of aircraft, as well as the history of the actual airframe that we have here at the museum. In some cases, we have dedicated specific aircraft to local men and women. If this is the case, we will discuss why we decided to dedicate an aircraft to them. In this video, we will be introducing you to one of the helicopters in the MAPS Air Museum collection, the Bell OH-58 Kiowa. The OH designation for this aircraft indicates that its primary function was as an observation helicopter. Following the U.S. Army's naming convention for helicopters, the OH-58 was named the Kiowa in honor of the Native American tribe. The OH-58 was flown by United States Army pilots from 1969 to 2017, a period of almost 50 years of continuing service to this nation. The Bell OH-58 Kiowa is a family of single-engine, single-rotor military helicopters used for observation, utility, and direct fire support. It is the military version of the Bell Model 206A Jet Ranger. The OH-58 Kiowa served extensively in Vietnam in the light observation and scout roles. Although the aircraft was developed for Army use, it was also used as a trainer with the United States Navy as the TH-57C Ranger. The Army's trainer version was the TH-67A Creek. Over 2,200 Kiowa helicopters of various models were produced. On October 14, 1960, the United States Navy asked 25 helicopter manufacturers on behalf of the United States Army for proposals for a Light Observation Helicopter, or LOH. A total of 13 manufacturers entered the competition. Eventually, helicopters proposed by three companies were selected for flight testing, Bell, Hiller, and Hughes. Bell submitted the D-250 design, which would be designated the YH-04. Hiller Aircraft's concept was the Fairchild Hiller FH-1100, designated as the YH-05. The Hughes Aircraft Company, Model 369, was designated the YH-06. On May 19, 1961, Bell and Hughes were announced as winners of the design competition. After the fly-off, the Hughes design was selected and designated the OH-6A Cayuse. With the LOH classification, the OH-6A earned the nickname Loach. 1,422 OH-6As served in Vietnam. 964 were lost. Modern variants of the OH-6A, the Boeing AH-6 and the Hughes McDonnell Douglas MH-6 Little Bird, still remain in service with the United States Special Operations Forces. When the D-250 was rejected by the Army, Bell went about solving the problem of marketing the aircraft. 
In addition to the image problem, the helicopter lacked cargo space and only provided cramped quarters for the planned three passengers in the back. The solution was a fuselage redesigned to be more sleek and aesthetic, adding 16 cubic feet of cargo space in the process. The redesigned aircraft was designated as the Model 206A, now called the Jet Ranger. The first flight of the Bell 206A occurred on January 10, 1966. As the U.S. involvement in the war in Vietnam grew, more helicopters were needed. In 1967, the Army reopened the Light Observation Helicopter Competition because Hughes Aircraft Division could not meet the increased production demands. Bell resubmitted for the program using the Bell 206A. Fairchild Hiller failed to resubmit their bid with the YOH-5A, which they successfully marketed as the FH-1100. In the end, Bell underbid Hughes to win the contract and the Bell 206A was designated as the OH-58A. One distinctive feature of operational OH-58s is the knife-like extensions above and below the cockpit, which is part of the passive wire strike protection system. It can protect 90% of the frontal area of the helicopter from wire strikes that can be encountered at low altitudes. It does this by directing wires to the upper or lower blades before they can entangle the rotor blades or landing skis. The OH-58A was the first helicopter to test this system. After the system was adopted by the U.S. Army for the OH-58, it became standard equipment on most of their other helicopters. Although the Kiowa has two-place pilot seating, the controls in the left seat are designed to be removed to carry a passenger up front. During its Vietnam development, it was often fitted with a variety of weapon systems. It also found success when teamed up with the AH-1 Cobra as a hunter-killer team where the Kiowa would locate targets and the Cobra would destroy them. 312 Kiowas served in Vietnam. 48 of them were lost. The U.S. Army retired its last OH-58A in November of 2017. In 1967, the Army began evaluating the need to improve the capabilities of their scout aircraft. The OH-58A lacked the power for operations in areas that exposed the aircraft to either high altitudes or hot temperatures. Equipped with a more powerful engine, the OH-58C was supposed to solve many issues and concerns regarding the Kiowa's power. It also highlighted what was then a critical deficiency in the tactical warfare capabilities of Army aviation, the ability to quickly and efficiently acquire targets. In addition to the upgraded engine, the OH-58C had unique infrared suppression systems mounted on its turbine exhaust, which vented the hot turbine exhaust upward into the propeller wash. The system dispersed the engine exhaust, making it less visible to heat-seeking anti-aircraft systems. The aircraft was also equipped with a larger instrument panel, roughly a third bigger than the OH-58A panel, which held larger flight instruments. The panel was also equipped with night vision goggle or NVG compatible cockpit lighting. The lights inside the aircraft were modified to prevent them from interfering with the air crew's use of NVGs. OH-58C aircraft were also the first U.S. Army Scout helicopter to be equipped with a radar detection system, which allowed the crew to know when there were anti-aircraft radar systems in proximity to the aircraft. Some OH-58C aircraft were armed with two AIM-92 Stinger air-to-air -air missiles, which were intended to provide the Kiowa with an air defense capability. In 1978, the remaining OH-58A aircraft 
began to be converted to the same engine and dynamic components as the OH-58C. The U.S. Army Aviation Center at Fort Rucker, Alabama used the OH-58C as a trainer through the end of 2019. On November 30, 1979, the decision was made to defer development of a new advanced scout helicopter in favor of pursuing modification of existing airframes in the inventory. The development of a mast-mounted site would be a primary focus to improve the aircraft's ability to perform reconnaissance, surveillance, and target missions while remaining hidden behind trees and terrain. On July 10, 1980, the Army decided there would be a competitive modification program based on developments in the commercial helicopter industry. Both Bell Helicopter and Hughes Helicopter redesigned their Scout aircraft to compete for the contract. Bell offered a more robust version of the OH-58 in their model 406 aircraft and Hughes offered an upgraded version of the OH-6. Bell Helicopter Textron was awarded a development contract. The first prototype flew on October 6, 1983 and the aircraft entered service in 1985 as the OH-58D. The OH-58D, or Bell Model 406, was the result of the Army Helicopter Improvement Program. An upgraded transmission and engine gave the aircraft the power it needed for nap of the earth flight profiles, and a four-bladed main rotor made it much quieter than the two-bladed OH-58C. The OH-58D introduced the distinctive mast-mounted sight above the rotor system. The mast-mounted sight resembles a beach ball perched above the main rotor. It has a gyro-stabilized platform that contains a television sighting system, thermal imaging system, and a laser rangefinder designator system. This gives the Kiowa the additional capability of target acquisition and laser designation in both day and night conditions, and under limited visibility and adverse weather conditions. Initially intended to be used in attack, cavalry, and artillery roles, the Army only approved a low initial production level, and initially confined the role of the OH-58D to field artillery observations. In the field, however, the Kiowa was often paired with the AH-64 Apache gunship. The AH-58D was an OH-58D version operated by Task Force 118, officially the 4th Squadron 17th Cavalry, and modified with armament. The armed aircraft would be known as the OH-58D Kiowa Warrior. AH-58D is not an official Department of Defense aircraft designation, but is used by the Army in reference to these aircraft. The OH-58D Kiowa Warrior has universal weapons pylons found on both sides of the aircraft. These pylons are capable of carrying combinations of Hellfire air-to-surface missiles, air-to-air -air Stinger missiles, 7-shot 2.75-inch Hydra rocket pods, and an electrically fired 50 caliber machine gun. The Warrior upgrade also includes improvements in available power, navigation, communications, and survivability. The Kiowa Warrior was used primarily for scouting and armed reconnaissance in the Persian Gulf. In 2016, the OH-58D Kiowa Warrior was retired from U.S. Army service after 33 years. On April 14, 2011, Bell performed the first successful flight of their OH-58F. Bell started voluntary flight demonstrations in October of 2012, and the Army had to decide by December if it would even proceed with the program. The OH-58F was the designation for an upgrade of the OH-58D with enhanced power, cockpit information, and survivability upgrades. The first production aircraft started being built in January of 2013 
and was handed over to the Army by the end of the year. Low rate production was to start in March of 2015, with the first operational squadron being fully equipped by 2016. The Army was to buy 368 OH-58Fs with older A, C, and D model OH-58s to be remanufactured into F models. Because of battle damage and combat attrition, total OH-58F numbers would be about 321 aircraft. In the first quarter of 2014, Bell Helicopter received a stop work order for the model. The Army had chosen to retire its Kiowa fleet and end the F model upgrades. The airframe that is on display at the MAPS Air Museum is in OH-58 Kiowa. In developing the histories of the aircraft located at the MAPS Air Museum, all available resources are researched and compiled. While most of the source materials are in agreement, some of the information obtained from various sources are inconsistent with the majority of other data. If this is the case, the information that is presented represents the facts as presented by official sources whenever possible. The airframe at the MAPS Air Museum is an OH-58A version carrying serial number 69-16153. The Kiowa was built at Bell Helicopter in Fort Worth, Texas with construction number 40374. It was delivered to the United States Army on July 17, 1970. During its 22-year active duty career, the Kiowa was stationed in Germany as part of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, or NATO, force structure. In December of 1970, 69-16153 reported to its initial assignment with the Regimental Aviation Company, 2nd Armored Cavalry Regiment, based in Nuremberg, Germany. This assignment lasted until October 24, 1980, when the airframe was transferred to Company D, 3rd Aviation Battalion, 3rd Infantry Division, located in Kinzigen, Germany. In April of 1981, the 3rd Aviation Battalion relocated from Kitzigan Army Airfield to Giebelstadt Army Airfield and the OH-58 moved with it. On February 10, 1982, the Kiowa was reassigned to Company A, 3rd Aviation Battalion, stationed at Giebelstadt, Germany. That assignment lasted until February 1, 1985, when the OH-58 was reassigned to the 225th General Support Aviation Company, also located at Giebelstadt. On December 9, 1986, the airframe was assigned to Company B, 70th Transportation Battalion, stationed at Sandhofen, Germany. This tour of duty lasted less than a year when the Kiowa was assigned to Headquarters and Headquarters Troop, 4th Squadron, 4th Cavalry Regiment, also in Sandhofen. On January 29, 1981, that unit was inactivated and redesignated 3rd Squadron, 4th Cavalry Regiment. The OH-58A was transferred to Headquarters and Headquarters Troop, 3rd Squadron, 4th Cavalry Regiment, 3rd Infantry Division, and stayed at place at Sandhofen. On September 11, 1992, 69-16153 returned to the United States and was assigned to the Corpus Christi Army Depot in Texas for refit. The reconditioning took less than two months and then the airframe was transferred on November 5, 1992 to the Indiana National Guard and assigned to Headquarters and Headquarters Company of the Aviation Brigade 38th Infantry Division located in Shelbyville, Indiana. The Kiowa came home to Ohio on June 6, 1995, when it was assigned to the 4th Squadron 107th Armored Cavalry of the Ohio National Guard stationed at the Akron-Canton Regional Airport. 
The aircraft was decommissioned and transferred for static display to MAPS on September 27, 1996, when the 4th Squadron 107th Armored Cavalry Regiment was inactivated and removed from the force structure. Authorization for this donation was per a letter of authority from the Army Aviation and Troop Support Command dated July 9, 1996. In the summer of 2019, the OH-58A was repainted and dedicated to two servicemen with Ohio roots. Sergeant Eddie Joe White was born on January 30, 1949 in Barberton, Ohio. He enlisted in the regular army after graduation and was deployed to Vietnam on September 14, 1967. He was assigned to Company C, 2nd Battalion, 14th Infantry, 25th Infantry Division. On April 30, 1968, Sergeant White was killed by hostile fire while riding in a helicopter on a rescue mission near the Cambodian border. The other name that has been placed on the MAPS OH-58 is that of Chief Warrant Officer 3, Donald V. Clark. Clark was born in Boardman, Ohio on September 12, 1971. After he graduated from Boardman High School in 1989, he joined the Navy, serving in submarines until 1995 when he transferred to the Army. He met and married Jamie Johnston of Memphis, Tennessee in 1991 and settled in Newton, Alabama after flight school at Fort Rucker. In November of 2006, he was assigned as an instructor pilot of the 6th Squadron, 17th Cavalry Regiment, Task Force 49, U.S. Army, Alaska, located at Fort Wainwright. The unit was deployed to Iraq in July of 2008. On November 15, 2008, CW3 Donald Clark and CW2 Christian Humphreys of Fallon, Nevada, were killed in the crash of their 0858D after hitting wires in a northern Iraqi city of Mosul. The OH-58A, serial number 69-16153, is painted and marked as it was when assigned to the 4th Squadron, 107th Armored Cavalry Regiment, located at Greensburg, Ohio. The aircraft is on loan from the Tank Automotive and Armament Command, or TACOM, Life Cycle Management Command. 